a children's story about an amazing boy and his grandma. This book is written by Heya Adera, illustrated by Walid Khan. You know what is so awesome about this book? Is this book was written about the author's husband. He and his grandma had such a special bond. So Heya wanted to let her husband know that his grandmother was always in his heart, always with him. So this book is written by an author from Senegal, a country in West Africa. That is what I am loving so much about these stories is I get to share stories from all around the world. It is so exciting to me. So I hope you enjoy this story and I have a little bit more information about the author as soon as the story is read. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy the story and um, here we go. A children's storybook about an amazing boy and his grandma. At the beginning of the day, the sun rises up and illuminates the African landscape and a small village named Gbadigba. In this case, lives Marguerite, an influent and respected woman in the village. She is cooking some porridge of corn for his grandson's breakfast. He comes to visit her during the school's break. Her grandson loves the aklui with some peanuts on the top. Eric, wake up and come eat. Your food is ready. She yells. This little boy, excited by the food, gets down faster off his bed couch and runs outside to do some toilet before to come back and discuss his favorite grandma's breakfast. Good morning, grandma, said he to his grandma. He quickly finished his bowl and asked for more food to his grandma with a big smile. When he finally gets full, he runs outside to enjoy the fresh air of nature and explore the fields and the hills. At the end of the day, Eric and grandma watch the sun coming down. How many of you love watching the sunset? I know where I live, the sunsets are so beautiful. So if you have never watched a sunset, go outside today and enjoy the sunset where you live. It's beautiful, amazing, and go do it. You'll like it. Then, Grandma serves for her grandson, Eric, a big bowl of corn polenta and spinach tomato sauce seasoned with African mustard. Enjoy your maninan, sweetheart, said Grandma. Eric very gratefully said, thank you, Grandma. At bedtime, Grandma counted to Eric the story of the Amazons, the fearless woman warriors of the African kingdom of Dahomey. At the end, Grandma was kissing Eric while the thunder rumbled. She felt her grandson flinch. His grandma told him with kindness, never be afraid. You are a descendant of Amazon warrior. And then I'll always keep an eye on you wherever you are. 
Reassured, her grandson mumbled in his sleep, You are my angel, Grandma. Now, every time Eric heard a clap of thunder, he watches the sky and remembers the sweetie and warm grandma's words. Wow, what an amazing story. So the author, Heya Adara and her family, they live in the United States currently. So she moved from Senegal two years ago to be with her husband and a little, um, a little bit about her husband, which I thought was very, very fun to learn. So the little boy who inspired the story was her husband. He is now grown up. He graduated as a doctor um, in medicine in Benin. He served in the United States Marine Corps. He obtained a PhD in public health. He is now a federal agent for the United States where he lives with his family. And he, he's always telling funny stories about his grandma to his kids. And he continues to remember and share grandma's values and principles around him. So Benin is officially the Republic, um, hold on, Benin, officially the Republic of Benin is the home to the former Dahomey Kingdom. It is bordered by Togo to the west, Nigeria to the east, Burkina Faso to the northwest, and Niger to the northeast. Benin is a French-speaking West African nation. Gbadagba is a village located in South Benin. So a few little fun facts for you. You can order this book on Amazon. Um, if you've lost a grandparent, just know that they're always with you, always in your heart, watching over you. God bless you all. I hope you enjoyed this story and be sure to subscribe. I would love for you to join my tribe. Hit that subscribe button. Share these stories. Like these stories. I have a lot of them to share from various authors. Be sure to scroll and watch your favorite ones. Um, have a great day, everybody.